Hi, I'm Deirdre from the Business Insight Company. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use the Stardust module to construct a good segmentation. To follow this video, you must be familiar with the PCA technique. The PCA technique allows you to do dimensionality reduction and to create correct distances. Consult a previous video to have an introduction to the PCA technique. Stardust allows you to visually explore on your computer screen the entire studied population. This visual exploration allows you to find interesting figures about your data, detect outliers and non-valid data, find segments of customers having similar behavior, and discover hidden patterns inside your data. Let's start a new segmentation analysis. The first steps of the analysis have already been covered inside a previous video. So we select a learning data set. On the learning data set we have to specify what column is the primary key. Tim guesses the type of some columns as value, but in reality the type of this column is nominal. So let's change it. And we finally run the short preliminary analysis. And it's done. Now we can really start the segmentation analysis. This is Stardust. With the following table here, you can select which variable will be loaded into memory for analysis. The first thing we want to do is to see the whole database in three dimension. The dataset contains 10 numerical variables. We won't use this one. Each individual inside the database is a point in a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 dimensional space. We will use the PCA technique to reduce the dimensionality to be able to project the point in a 3D space. Let's click OK. The PCA runs directly and we can immediately see the whole population in 3 dimension. Inside the Census Income database there are around 200,000 individuals. This means that we are actually looking at a graph that contains 200,000 points. We can zoom in, rotate around the graph in 3 dimension and in real time. We can even directly produce a segmentation using the k-means algorithm by clicking here. The segmentation is complete and we can see in three different colors each segment. To perform this segmentation, Stardust used the default initialization for the definition of the distance. You can change the distance used to produce the segmentation by clicking here. The distance used to produce this segmentation is by default composed by the first 10 PCA accesses. In a previous video, we talked about the usage of the PCA to define a good distance. We found that the distance definition should not include PCA accesses where the range value is very small. So this chart shows you for each PCA axis what the range of values is. You can see that the axis 8 has a very small range so it should not be included inside the distance definition. We will only take into the distance definition the first three axes. The first three PCA axes are chosen. In a previous video, we already explained that K means algorithm. Stardust contains a second algorithm that is called Ward's algorithm that allows you to choose the exact optimal number of different segments. Currently, there are three segments. You can see these three segments here in three colors. But you can ask for four segments or even five segments. Let's select three segments. The Ward algorithm is instantaneous and allows you to see the result of your decision in real time. Once you have found the segments and decided how many segments you need, you can save the segments in a CSV file and export a segmentation model to use inside the prediction tool. TIM allows you to easily create one predictive model for each segment. You can export the distance definition that you just defined. The first step of the segmentation analysis is now complete. We have obtained a segmentation model. The second task involves describing each segment from a business perspective. We will see how to perform this second task in the next video. The second generation data mining software, TIM, Stardust module, allows you to easily segment your customer base by using the most advanced state-of-the-art segmentation methodology. The future of database marketing starts right now with TIM. For more information, please visit our website at www.business-insight.com.